So opening day here at Icon Mall in Bali. Uh, traffic is crazy. People everywhere. Traffic chaos going on all over the place. Plenty of signs up showing the new shops that are here. Seems like everyone in the area wants to come and have a look. Apparently it's not totally finished yet, but this is our last day in Bali. We fly home tonight, so we thought we'd better come and have a quick squeeze and see what it's like. Got a grab, pick up and drop off place. You can feel the air conditioning coming out already, so that's one good sign. <clears throat> Hello, sir. Hello, sir. So, not quite sure where to start, but it's nice and cool in here, so let's go over here. Got some nice looking cars here. And so I can get in there and have a look. Wow. Poor spider. Can you take some photos on my phone? So what do we got? Fred Perry, Calvin Klein, Ted Baker, La Costa, Mango, Foot Locker. Time zone up there. So you don't rate them? Oh, sometimes. So I can go back into that. So Normally I'll give him a tip, but I gave him 10,000 anyway. So, yeah, because he said we were going to the other cheeky monkeys down there. So, so I gave him an extra 10. So lots of people around, obviously everyone's interested. Lots of upmarket shops, so this is certainly going to uh, be popular with tourists, I guess, coming to shop, especially foreigners. Amani. La Costa. Got a bit of a show on up here, so we'll go and have a have a look. Well, this place is impressive. Let's get a bit closer and see what this show is all about. And of course, once I get there, it stops. See a few bits and pieces that are not open yet, but uh, I'm sure in time it'll all be good. Okay, let's go and have a look up here. Doesn't really look like there's any shops open up this end, but should we go and have a look at the view through the beach drive? 
So apparently this is the biggest mall, obviously, in Bali, for sure. Um, Sanu is a bit of an unlikely destination for it, but actually when you really break it down, there's a lot of uh, older people here with a bigger disposable income, I guess, to spend at this place. So it's certainly not ready on the beach end yet. So they've opened it from the front near Jolandano Camblingan. Looks like the bottom step is all local Indonesian sellers selling foods, coffees, obviously food court down there because seems to be a lot of places to eat so we'll get down there and have a look shortly. Escalator not working yet here. Be interesting to come back here in six months or so and see what it's actually looking like then. So many at market shops in there, like designer labels everywhere. is obviously popular. Starbucks popular as you would expect. It's good to see a lot of uh, local Indonesian food around here too, not just Western stuff. <coughs> Agendas coming soon, that will uh, impress my wife next time we come here. <laughs> As you would expect in Indonesia. So this opens up straight onto the beach obviously down here. Stan's sitting on a bit of water. Okay, so this is ground floor, straight in from the beach. Caught in the water, waiting for someone to be electrocuted. <laughs> Croissant kitchen. Mm. 
Johnny Rockets. It's one of them at the airport actually as well. Krishna's a tourist shop, you'll find them all over Bali, they're fixed price, catering to tourists, especially this one, looks like it's got mainly cakes, t-shirts, cosmetics. Need to pull my wife out of here before she spends some money. Lots of aloe vera face scrubs. Some colourful beach wear. Different types of Indonesian snacks. Calvin Klein, DKNY, Market City, it's a supermarket maybe, let's have a look. Oh, definitely a supermarket. My wife will be heading in here for sure. Hello. There'll be no more going to Grand Lucky out on the bypass road. You want to try? No, thank you. Got a ready to eat section here, so you'll be able to come in and eat. Uh, got sushi, mochi bowls by the looks of it. Mochi bowls, big mochi, so, big mochi, hey, Ooh, big mochi bowls. Hopefully it doesn't look like what we taste like the ones right 
Plenty of Haribo. Yeah. This is what my wife likes. Even got the pizza and barbecue shapes if you're Australian, they're around five dollars forty a packet. Barbecue shapes. Barbecue shapes. <laughs> yeah. Can't go anywhere unless it's a bin tang hat. Cereals, yeah. you name it. Onion rings that Scott was talking about. Onion rings. You want to try some? Yeah, buy some. As long as we can pay cash, who knows? Card. Card. So you got the souvenir section, but then lots of different food sections. Yep. They've got the shopping carts out already. Big packet of cheese balls if I've ever seen one. <clears throat> Not sure where my wife is, I've lost her already. No, there she is. What are you munching on? Granola. <laughs> nice cafe, big one, $15 for 100 grams, $8 for 50 grams. Honeys, jams, you name it, they've got it in here. Tea. Oh, we've got gelato for people who are keen on the gelato. Just another one for people ever coming to Bali, definitely bring your own sunscreen because sunscreen is horrifically dear here so you're only getting like a little 90 mil one, it's around $20 Australian. Hi. Oh, we get it. Kiss spray. Oh, kiss spray. It's one of the favourite things for my wife to take home. Have they got any rendang paste? I often take that home. Lots and lots of sauces. Just as a bit of a warning, <laughs> I don't know whether it's just opening day or not, but we're trying to pay by tap at a couple of places here and they're all saying no, 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 only insert. So, if you haven't got a physical card with you, you can't buy anything at the moment, so maybe on, maybe when it opens further, it'll get better.
Sephora, but it's closed. <laughs> My wife has spotted the, spotted the body shop, so that's a favourite. More cars up here. Oh, Marks and, Marks and Spencer, but it's only uh, looks like it's only closed. I thought it might have been Marks and Spencer supermarket, but let's go up and have a look. Time's on. Some of these cars down here are stunning. Body shop. This will be dangerous for my account. Hopefully, maybe. Flying Tiger, Copenhagen. Wow. No, you came out of there without purchasing anything. Interesting. What else have we got up here? Still a few shops closed, Sketches, Giordano. Coffee and cakes. Nothing much open in this section yet. Still coming. But now let's go back to another one. Yeah. So at Sketches, Sketches are popular everywhere around the world. We've got Lego for people who love Lego. Street sketches. So what do we got up here? New Era, Converse, Asics. This amazing icon wall in the middle. Sports station. Steve Madden. Birkenstock. Sales 
Samsung. Celebrations going on on oh, opening day. Oh, we got fuel of Sweden. I love some of this stuff, but very, very expensive. The vans. Okay. Had to swap battery there, so I might have missed a little bit back there, but a lot of the stuff towards the front was closed anyway, or towards the beach. Shop selling t-shirts, hats, etc. I don't know, don't know how that goes because you know you can obviously buy knockoffs in the markets here for you know possibly half the price, or well, not half the price, for a few dollars for a hat. Okay, back to the start of floor two. Let's go up and have a look at floor three. I don't see too much opened up here, but Floor 3, three will be pretty exciting for visitors to Bali because there's uh, stuff for kids and families. There's like a time zone, there's a cinema up here. I don't think they're open just yet, but we've got a kids station here, big toy shop. Not quite sure where my wife is, but like all things, I'll probably find her. So Kids Station will be exciting for families who are looking for toys, good weather for Nerf guns here in Bali because it's hot, bit of fun out on the beach with your Nerf guns, uh, absolutely nothing opened up here I don't think, except for bag city suitcases but other than that, looks like there's a glasses shop maybe but that seems to be about it up there at this stage. Everything's under construction. Let's go and have a look up here. So we've got the cinema. This will be, like I said, really interesting for a lot of people coming to Sanua, because Sanua's a really great location, but besides the beach, there's not a great deal to do. So to have a cinema here will be fantastic. And to have a time zone next to it makes a great location for families. So what's on? Western movies, Western movies, Western movies. So that'll be excellent for most people. I wonder what the price is. Hello. So we got drinks, stuff like that. Cinema, D, IMAX. Doesn't say how much the tickets are. You can buy your tickets online. Let's have a bit of a look. Let's see how much they are. Well, let's see if we can see how much they are. No idea. It'd be on my capability. Definitely nice and cool in here, plenty of food options up there, as you would expect. There you go. It's nice in here. It's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. IMAX Cinema. I don't know, I can't see the price, I'm gonna have to go to camera. 
So prices seem to be somewhere between 150,000, then it's 50,000, and IMAX is 65,000. So Premier might be like gold class in Australia, I'd say, and it's yeah, 150,000. It seems to be normal cinema price, 50,000, so $5, IMAX $6.50. Foods, fruits. Looks good. Next time we're in Sanur, I'll certainly be coming back here to watch a movie. Okay. What? <laughs> so now we've got time zone. Very busy already with kids and families by the looks of it. Will certainly be a hit. Katrina. nothing's finished yet um, but look when it's done it'll be uh, I think a real asset to Sanur um, a lot of people don't want it or didn't want it but look if it provides more jobs more places to eat more shopping it can only be good for the economy and only can be good for Sanur in the end so this was our last opportunity to have a look because we fly home tonight but hey I think it's pretty impressive so far what do you think? So that's us out from Icon. Bye.